Hey there, Travis Dio with Sea West Observatories. We're here in Vermont for a client system we set up in last September. We're uh, back now to do a mirror cover retrofit installation so that it can be used fully remotely without having to go in manually and pulling off the mirror cover. So let's get to it. While we're doing the mirror cover installation, we're also pulling out the PDU, which is decided to die on us, so we're sending it back for an RMA, but we have a second one here, so we can install that and he can remotely operate this. So you want to replace the mirror covers of your CDK24. Well, first step is to remove the manual mirror cover. Once you have the mirror cover removed, you have to remove these button head 3 8 bolts all the way around. There should be one on either side of every cross brace. This is where those original two bolts were. We're now putting these countersunk bolts in these farther separated locations. Once you have those two big bolts in, you can put in some shorter bolts back into the original spots for those three eight bolts. We now have the two plates, one on either side. This is number one, number two, right and left, with the four bolts, two on each side. We have all four plates on, two rights, two lefts on opposite sides. So next thing that we need to do is maneuver the shutters into place. You previously used the manual mirror covers. You're gonna to need to remove these magnets that help hold it onto the telescope. They use a 1 16th. There are two washers down in there. One of them is non-magnetic. Next step is to actually put on the mirror covers with their motors. They are keyed, so you wanna do the even ones first, which is two and four and then do the odd ones after that, one and three. Yeah, correct. Four quarter 20 bolts is all you need to secure the mirror covers to the plates. When you're putting on each of these, you want to make sure that you, they are pushed as far back as possible so that they don't make contact to the central baffle. The reason that we do mirror covers two and four is because mirror covers one and three actually go on top of two and four, making a nice seal so that you don't get any dust infiltration onto your mirror when it's closed. All right, so Travis has been working on getting that CDK24 primary mirror shutter installed. 
And on this side, we're going through and setting up the power supply and make sure the cables are clean and safe out of the way. And that's gonna go up to the CDK24 shutter control box. cables routed so now we need to just balance this with the mirror covers open so that it can track really nice.